Hi guys, welcome to another testing video. Today we're going to do a third test on the reel. As you've seen in previous, we've loaded from the lower end of the spool, which is where our small gusset is, where you pass the line through before you tie. So when loaded down the bottom, there's less leverage than what there would be up at the top. A question was asked, this is fine if you spooled, but what if you have a foul in your reel? Somehow the line gets jammed and you're now pulling from the top. How much load can the spool take? As you see, the newer reels have a tapered handle. The older ones used to have a non-tapered handle. So what we've done now, we've changed out back to the old one and we're gonna haul on the worst possible position, which is off the handle. If a coil of line had hooked up on that, and we're going to load that. Remember, we also now make two different sizes. So the shorter spindle, worst case scenario, will not be pulling right at the top. It'll be somewhere further down. So we're gonna now test the old style handle, and we're gonna pull on that point. This is screwed in, so this will give you an indication of how hard this can handle. I've no idea what it'll break at. Remembering your mono will break at about 90 to 100 kilos. It's almost impossible for a dive in the water to pull that hard. What you gotta consider is if a fish drags your gear down onto the reef, locks it up and continues pulling, what will give. So we're gonna load that now, same system as before, but we're gonna haul this time as high up as possible. Let's see what happens. The rig is same as before, everything is loose to wobble. We have a load cell hooked up onto the handle and engaged in the other side on the spindle. Remember if I mentioned weights, they'll be in kilograms. If you want pounds, just times by 2.2. The actual scale itself works in kilograms. There we go. It's already twisted quite heavily with six kilos. Looks like it's going to flip off the rear, the handle. That was over 50, but I think the spool is bending down onto these shafts. By the same token, if this is full of line, there will be support on the spindle. So I'm going to continue pulling on that and see what happens. We got it up to 50 odd there. Here we're back at 50. It'd be very difficult for you to pull 50 in the water. That'll be pulled out of your hand. But if it's jammed in the reef, that can overload. There she went. The damage was the handle itself ripped off, sheared. I think we got to about 60 plus. That is still a pressure you would be very unlikely to tension. Uh, the shaft is slightly bent. The screw inside in the bracket didn't budge. So there you go. For those who are interested, Please keep these comments coming. It's very interesting for us to do it. And uh, it's a good idea. You guys know how strong the gear is or weak, depending on the circumstances. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stand by for next week's. A lot of you might not know, we've had this reel out for many years. There's been lots of modifications to it. The original reel, which had this type of drag nut, was never really designed to shoot game fish. It was designed more as just a line holder. Um, we have beefed it up and beefed it up and made better bushes and changed the knob. So currently, if you had to pull hard on the current knob, there's no way it'll, it'll hook up. That's going to pull off. So you'll never have this problem you've seen here. By the same token, 
When we take that line further down, we should add another 10 or 15% of weight that it can take. So my feeling is we'd go 80, 90 kilos pulling in that direction right at the top of the spindle. My feeling is your line's gonna pop before that. There you go.